Hello everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about anything and everything that is yarn and crochet related. So if that type of thing interests you, please hit that subscribe button. And if you do look in the description box below, you'll find a link. The very first one, it'll have over a thousand crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. So this tutorial is not about, um, it's about something I got. Um, so today is 8-16-2023. So, do you guys know who Creative Grandma is on YouTube? If you don't, you should. She is a wonderful woman and has a very nice YouTube channel. Um, I will put a link to her YouTube channel below in the description box. She's a must to subscribe to. You'll really, really like her. But anyways, um, I uh, noticed that she was auctioning off some of her things that she had crocheted um, or things that she might have tutorials on and other stuff yarn and whatnot on on eBay well I did win some things now I hope that I do not upset anybody that was bidding against me um, I I'm sorry but you know auctions are just you know it is what it is you know that's how auctions go so if you see something here that you bid on you know auctions are auctions I'm sorry but anyways I'm gonna show you what I got from creative grandma I'm super excited to 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 show you what it is so this I didn't bid on any of her yarn or anything like that just a few things that she made because I do have a, well couple of them I have something I'm going to do with. Um, actually, I'm going to do something with all of them, but I mean, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. So, this was purchased on eBay from Creative Grandma. These are things that she crocheted um, on or for her YouTube channel. So, first one up. nice packaging maybe let me get this open okay <laughs> real nice packaging okay so this was okay so I just I wanted to get the names correct so you could look on her channel for them this was um, her sunrise triangle shawl Crocheted by Creative Grandma. Let's look at this. Ooh. Oh, it looks really pretty. Now, I don't know if you if you watch me, you know a little bit about me that I do collect uh, shawls, knitted uh, mostly, but I do have uh, quite a few shawls from my fellow YouTubers. Well, I didn't have one from Creative Grandma, so now I do. So I can add this to my shawl collection of other youtubers shawls isn't that pretty yes that's very very pretty i like the cross stitches in it there she did it's nice it's a pretty shawl look at that now i'm sure you can find this on her channel as well it's a nice little border top there she did but this is a keeper for me to add to my shawl collection of shawls that I received from my fellow YouTubers. So I did get this off eBay, handmade by Creative Grandma. Very pretty. All right, now I have another box. And it says, cut open carefully. Well, I'm not always the most careful, but I will. I will do my best to be careful on this one. Yeah, that shawl's gorgeous. I'm looking at a picture of it now of uh, Glinda. Her name's Glinda uh, from Creative Grandma oh, holding it up. I I just don't really want to cut what's inside. <laughs> so I got to be just a little bit careful on this one. All 
right. Let's see what we got in here. Nicely bagged. Nicely, nicely uh, packed. And this one is um, Spring Blooms Toddler Afghan, handmade by Creative Grandma. So this was made out of, I can tell right off by looking, the uh, Premier Bloom uh, Chunky, I do believe. So let's look at it here. Now that is a pretty, pretty afghan. Isn't that pretty? So, look at that. She really made that uh, bloom, the design in that bloom show up really nice. That bloom yarn, I, you know, I always have trouble with that. I don't usually buy it because the design never shows up for me, but she did an excellent job on that. Um, the border is very pretty on that as well. This is nice and squishy, nice and soft. Now, if you probably know where this one's going, <laughs> this will probably go to my daughter, Evelyn, who is obsessed with the color pink and purple. Well, I think this will suit her fine. I like that one, handmade by Creative Grandma. I like it a lot. I know that took a lot of time. Very pretty. I like it. So, yes, this one will more than like probably, probably go to Evelyn. Now, now I'm, I'm thinking about that one. She has a lot of crochet blankets. If it doesn't, then I have another plan for it. I will save it for my next uh, um, animal welfare auction. Um, that way, I will have something made by Creative Grandma to auction off. Okay, for that. And then I have two more things here to show you. Okay. Oh, I love these bags. I'm going to say this to the back. Um, now, this is called uh, Creative Grandma's Beautiful French Country Afghan Blanket. The original made by Creative Grandma. Now, this one I am saving for whenever I have my next animal rescue auction. I will be auctioning this off. So, I did buy it you know I did bid on it on eBay and paid for it but I'm going to auction it off because I usually commission people to crochet afghans anyways so oh would not that pretty ah oh, that's gorgeous look at that I know that the pattern for this is available on Lion Brand I actually seen it the other day I was looking at Lion Brand's afghan patterns and I saw this there isn't that pretty so yes that's gorgeous and the colors are pretty nice squares nice beautiful pico border a lot of time spent on these I can tell ah she sews together like I sew together <laughs> me and on this one she did I usually always sew, sew together like that most of the time nice so yes yeah, very pretty Glenda, yeah, I don't know if you're watching. Excellent, excellent work on that. And this I will save for my next animal auction. If you remember, I do auction off crochet things. And since I uh, have this, we'll have something made by Creative Grandma to auction off uh, for animal rescue. And maybe this pink one. I'm not sure if I'll get that, give that to Evelyn. More than likely I will. Because uh, she's going to want it. But this one for sure. Now I got one more in here. Now please... Um, remember this one had tons and tons of bids on it and I when I bid on eBay well there's a certain way I bid on eBay but anyways there there was quite a few bids on it and I under, you, you'll understand why when you see it because it's a beautiful beautiful outstandingly stunning Afghan um, and I know a lot of people bid and a lot of people wanted it especially there was someone, you know, like at the end that was really trying to get it. And if you're watching, I am so sorry. But, you know, that's just the way eBay goes, right? I guess it ends up being who has a faster internet or a faster finger. <laughs> I just don't want to upset with anybody. But as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I almost didn't get it. I almost got out it. But, you know, at the end, it all, like I said, I guess it just depends on who's, who's the fastest. Anyway, if you watch Creative Grandma, you probably know which blanket it is. This is her 
Um, Summer Rose Afghan that she crocheted. And I did see this one available as a pattern online brand as well. And you can look on her web, her uh, YouTube channel. This is a keeper for me. I'm going to be putting it on the back of my chair. I like to swap blankets out um, from time to time on the back of my chair. Uh, I feel kind of bad because I know so many people bid on it. I do feel bad. But you know what? I mean, there was a chance I couldn't win it either. Because at the last minute, I just happened to outbid, outbid the person that was bidding. So, you know, it could have went either way. But look at that gorgeous thing. Now, that took some time. That took some patience. <sighs> Creative Grandma has way more. Way more. I, don't, I don't do blankets. You know, I'm not a blanket uh, type of person as far as crochet goes. But I absolutely love them. I like the way this was sewn together. Oh, same way I sew, sew it together. Nicely done. Nicely done. Um, beautiful border on that. That's absolutely stunning afghan. Let me hold it up here. I don't want to get it to reach the floor. But look at that. You guys can go to her website and see it, uh, see it uh, better on her website. But can you believe the beauty in that? I'm going to go put it on my chair real quick. Just a, just a sec. Let's see what it looks like. Just a second. Okay, so as good as it looks back there, it's almost way too beautiful to display. You know what I mean? It is so, so pretty. Although I couldn't get it to on my chair quite as nicely as, as Glenda has pictures on her website of it. But it's very, very beautiful. Like I said, almost too beautiful to even <laughs> put on my chair. But I will leave it and I will swap it out from time to time. I have Afghans. Um, some of my favorites that I swap out. Um, from time to time and this will go into my collection of Definitely one of my top favorites big fan of the Victorian area a very Victorian looking Afghan definitely matches my room um, So I'll redo it a bit. I know it's not quite uh, on the chair exactly like it should be but Anyways, I want to say um, if you're watching Glenda, I promise 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 and I am a woman of my word that I will always and forever take care of that afghan because as a feller fellow crocheter i know the worth of a handmade item i know the time that you put in that item and it will always and forever have a good loving home with me i will never get rid of it and it will always stay with me and you know, if you ever watch my videos from time to time, you'll see it on my chair. Swap, you know, I swap them out from time to time. And your other work is absolutely beautiful. The shawl, I will keep and put in my collection with uh, shawls that I collect. Uh, I collect many, many shawls and I have a lot from um, other YouTubers. And I thought, I, I, you are auctioning off one of yours. I might as well get one of uh, Created Grandma's shawls to add to my collection. The uh, bloom purple and pink blanket, it's either going to go to my daughter or it's going to go to uh, auction whenever I have that again to help with animal rescue. And the country, uh, French country one, is will be saved and be auctioned off to help animals. So you, thank you for that. Um, that is, uh, you didn't know that I was bidding on it for that, but yes, that was the purpose of me bidding on that, was so I could have a piece of your work to auction off during my next charity auction. Um, remember last time we was, we raised over $41,000, so we're going to shoot for 50000 next time. And um, yes, so everything that you crochet is absolutely impeccable. It's all beautiful, stunning, and perfect. Make sure you guys check out Glenda from Created Grandma. Remember, I'll put a link below to her YouTube channel. If you have not checked her out, I highly recommend her. Uh, make sure you subscribe and look at her videos. Give her a like. Check out all she has to offer. That afghan is absolutely stunning. And again, everybody else that was bidding on it, I'm sorry. You know, that's just the way it, go it goes. I lost my Freddie, I lost the auction on the Freddie Mercury stuff I wanted. It is what it is. Bye guys.